Hi friends, so I decided that today I was just gonna sit on my bed and just put my makeup on and talk about some good products that I love and just kind of be real laid back about everything. So I'm not gonna take any time on this intro, just gonna start in as I normally would. I'm gonna start with my Anastasia Beverly Hills. I do have two products in this video that aren't drugstore. I said that it was a full face of drugstore, but as I was getting into it, I realized I don't even have a primer right now. I've used them all up except for the Anastasia Beverly Hills. But this has lasted me for over a year. So this little tube is just a gem as far as I'm concerned. And I love the way that this completely whites out. I got way too much on here this time. I love the way that this completely whites out any of the discoloration on my eyelids and it just grips shadow like no other you guys it's so good okay i'm gonna do my waterline with my eyebrow pencil from wet and wild um just love this because it grips in the waterline so well and i really enjoy how long lasting it is as well love having the light color in my waterline wet and wild hi uh, eyebrow highlight pencil and then i'm going to go ahead and put on my la girl color corrector and I'm just going to let that all sit down while I do other things. The reason that I do this right now is because it really does help to have it on there and help, help to have it laid down before I go in with my concealer because what's gonna happen if I don't have it laid down, it's gonna mix with the concealer. I'm gonna turn your concealer orange and don't want that. All right, from Misha, this one is the Illuminating Primer. Even though I really, really love this primer and you're gonna see how illuminating it is, it has a beautiful pink pearlescent to it. Even though I do love this, it is fragrance. So if you guys are ones that really don't like fragrance, you're gonna have to really be careful about this. It smells like baby powder. It's not a bad fragrance, but I know that so many people really don't like to put fragrance on their face and it is a big no-no, but um, I bought it and I'm trying to use it up and I love the illuminating property that it gives my skin. It's just so pretty. Okay, I have a big old zit on my cheek right here that came overnight, it seems like. And I'm just going to take my green corrector from LA Girl and I'm just going to dab that right on top of it. I'm not going to spread it around. I'm just going to dab it and let it sit there. You get that spread around and it's going to kind of look really weird and it's going to kind of throw a cast of um, gray onto your skin. Don't want that either. Okay, so for my eye look today, I'm going to use the Hot Heat Palette. This one is in Aloha Vibes from LA Girl. I love these 16 pen palettes. You guys have heard me talk about them so much. They're just beautiful palettes that have a really beautiful array of different colors in here. I'm going to start out with a super fluffy brush and I'm going to go down into this color right here, which is kind of a, a rosy mauve color. And I'm going to mix it just a little bit with that white color there because it is a little bit too bright for my eyes. So I'm just going to mix the two tap off my brush. There's quite a bit of fallout on these, but I love how pigmented they are and how pretty they are. And I'm just going to use this as my transition color. And as you guys know, I really don't do windshield wiper. I kind of do stipple and push across there. And I will just follow the natural arch of my eye or my eyebrow, whichever one you want to. And then as I get out here on the edge, I'm just going to bring more color out there towards the tail of the eyebrow. And I'm just going to build that up to where I like the way that it looks. I'm trying to look in my little viewfinder. So if you guys see me looking over here, I have a viewfinder that's about this big. And I look right there just to make sure that I'm still in frame. And okay, then now I'm going to take a Luxie. This is kind of a dense shader brush. It's a little, it's almost like a, a fluffy blending brush, but squatty. So it's kind of a little bit more dense. And I'm just going to go down here into this purple right here. This is a look that I do almost every day. It doesn't matter what palette I pick up, I can do this look and I love it. So this color right here, which is the purple, is going to go onto the crease part, the actual crease part, and down in the outer V part. That way I only have to use three shadows instead of a bunch of different shadows. And I'm just laying that down into that crease part pushing it up towards the tail of the brow and trying to blend it quite a bit. Go back in with that fluffy brush and just give it a good blend to where it blends with it really well on that first color, the transition color. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this color right here, which is kind of an icy purple silvery color, and I'm gonna use that for my lid color. And I'm going to take that, I'm gonna take some e.l.f. setting spray and I'm gonna spray my finger to get that to stay down on my eye. And this is going to go 
on the whole entire lid. Now to kind of make sure nothing travels around, just take that original brush and just go over everything to blend it together, to make sure that the um, lid color is not gonna transfer. It might do a little bit because it's very stark, but just kind of blend everything together really well. All right, next is foundation. I'm using the number seven, Lift and Illuminate. I love this foundation. It is so, so good, you guys. So I'm gonna do two pumps. That's usually how much it takes for me. And then I'm going to just put them, dot them all over my face. And then I'm gonna take my sponge. I got a new one out just for you guys today. I love these sponges. They come in a package of five. I think they rival beauty blenders. I think they're better than a beauty blender. But I just sprayed it with the um, Fourth Ray Fresh AF spray. Um, this is just a refreshing spray for your makeup. Comes from ColourPop. It is their sister company. And I'm just gonna, I sprayed the end of it and I'm just gonna start to dab and stipple everything around. This color is cool ivory for me on the foundation if you're interested. It is a perfect color for me. I love cool colors. Um, for my skin and this one is just absolutely beautiful. All right So I'm going to need a little bit more because it didn't cover really well here on my cheeks where I have all my discoloration So I'm going to do one more pump on it and I'm going to spread that around on my cheeks And once again, I'm going to spray my sponge. I think because this sponge is brand new It was soaking up a lot because normally two pumps will do that foundation and I don't have a problem with it Now if you guys haven't seen this demoed before I actually think I have demoed this one before but this is one of my favorites ever My this skin still looks like skin some of my freckles are showing through even that little spot is still showing through which we'll take care of with concealer But honestly you guys this is the best foundation for just making you look luminous and bright and covering your imperfections, evening out your skin tone. It's so good. Absolutely love that stuff. All right, next up is concealer. This is from e.l.f. This is their um, camo hydrating concealer. I had this in a video very recently as well and just really, really love this stuff. So what I do with it is I do a couple little tiny dots um, and then I go in and I spread it around a little bit, but I'm not completely blending it in. I'm just spreading it a bit. And I'm gonna put my finger on that yucky thing right there, that zit. Try to get rid of it, which it probably won't, but we'll live with it for the day. And um, then I'm gonna let that sit. I haven't completely blended it in yet. I'm just gonna let that sit while I do my eyebrows. And I have been absolutely loving from e.l.f. This is their wow brow and i'm not sure what color this is in i'll make sure i link it for you guys but this little tiny applicator plus this has little fibers in it i have been doing my eyebrows with this completely instead of using a pencil and i've been really loving it so my eyebrows aren't the prettiest but this one will just go in and it will catch every little hair and what's nice about those little fibers is not only does it catch the hair but it also We'll put little fibers down to make your hair, your eyebrow hair look a little bit fuller. And excuse the shaking. I know most of you already know this, but I do have a disability. I have a palsy in my hands. It's called an essential trimmer. And it seems to be getting worse now that my medication got switched up by my doctor. But uh, yeah, it's one of those things I just cope with. So this is not like the precise brows that you get from the look on Instagram. This is more of a natural brow because obviously my hands are shaking. They're going all over. I have a heck of a time doing my brows. But I love this stuff because it's very, very forgiving. So because that is kind of a pomade type product, I'm going to go in with my NYX Control Freak. And I'm going to um, lay those brows down really well so they're going to stay in place all day. Because I do, on this side especially have these brows that poke straight down and it drives me crazy, but we're gonna fix that with this stuff. All right, next we're gonna work on the, that concealer, but I'm gonna take that eyebrow highlighter and I'm going to put it in here in the inner corner. I have such darkness in there that if I don't put something in there, it's going to just continue to look darker and darker. And then so I'm just going to tap out all of this from my concealer. Just working with that. And then if I feel like I need a little bit, which I do feel like I need a little bit more of that, then I'll go in with a second layer and I'm just gonna do one dot right there, right there where it is so dark from the dark circles. And I'm just gonna pat that just up along there. I'm gonna stay away from all of this out here because that's where I have all my creasing. 
and I'm just going to make sure that there's nothing extra in there. And then I'm just going to pat that along my cheeks to even out that tone that I have on my cheeks that's ready. Around my nose where I get really red from hormones. All right, now I am taking the Prep, Set, and Glow from Milani. And I have this bigger eye fluffy brush. Can you guys see it bend around and stuff? It's so soft and so light. And I, it's from Aesthetica. I haven't been able to find it again. I'll, I'll see if I can link it. But um, I had it one time on Amazon, but I haven't been able to find it for a while. But it's perfect because it doesn't lift up too much product, and that's what I want for my under eyes. So the Prep, Set, and Glow is perfect for my under eyes, and I just barely go along there, really with a very light hand, just enough to set down that concealer because I want it to really show up a little bit of glow because it seems like when I go too matte underneath there, then what happens is everything looks ancient <laughs> under there. So I go ahead and I just really lightly dust that. And today, because I'm going with more of a lighter look, I'm not going to go in and do a specific contour, which I normally would do. This is from L'Oreal. It's the Lumi Bronze It. This is in the lightest color. Um, yeah, I've had it so long my lid's busting off, but I'm just taking a very fluffy angled Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm using that. And I do this with my hands on almost all my products because I don't want that initial product to be so stark on my face. So I will actually just kind of tap in there. So I'm going to pinch this and I'm going to do a little bit of carving out of the cheekbones here. And then I'm going to go up into my hairline. What's nice about this is it's kind of a cool tone and I like that about it, but it's very bronzing at the same time. It gives me a lot of life. And I will just hit all these high points to with the bronzer. All right, with my angle stipple brush and my between the sheets super shock blush from ColourPop, I'm going to go in and I'm going to lay down this cream blush. I love this blush, you guys, and I love this brush from it. It is a gorgeous brush and it just lays down cream products like beautifully, absolutely beautifully. So I start out here and I just stipple that blush in gorgeous pinky peach color, just kind of a neutral color, a little bit more on the rose side, I guess, than it is on the pink side. Beautiful color. All right, and for my highlight, Flower Beauty's palette. I love this palette, and I will just take a kind of a stippling brush. Again, I use a lot of stippling brushes, and I will just go across the three of them and pick up some. Make sure I tap that off. And you guys are going to see this is gorgeous. And I will just lay this across the high points of my cheeks. And it is, it comes out to be such a pretty highlighter. Very soft and very natural. I don't do the tip of my nose because my tip of my nose is already kind of highlighted. I do do my Cupid's bow and a little bit right there on the forehead, just for a little bit added light. All right, for eyeliner, this is the Ardell um, Wanna Get Lucky. This one is in the purple color. These are automatic. They are the best waterproof liners. I love them. They never bleed down, and I love that. So I'm gonna take this. Look how easily that crayon just laid across there. Just beautiful. I work with one eye at a time because if I don't, I'm not going to get the look I want. And then I'm going to take a pencil brush that's a tiny bit lighter and fluffier. And I'm just going to take that color and I'm going to buff it out quite a bit so it's a lot softer. Pulling out like you would if you were doing a cat eye. And then just a little bit up into the outer V area. Okay, I'm going to take my Sydney Grace powder, which I am in love with. You get this huge thing for $14, you guys. And I said this before, it's a dupe for the hourglass powder because they're both made with mica instead of talc and so pretty. Sydney Grace does have one that is made with talc, but really love this mica one. It has a tiny bit of a sheen to it, so it's not going to make you look super flat. I do this right now because it is so hot and my makeup will just melt away if I don't use some sort of a powder. So I am really loving this powder right now. Go into your highlight. We're going to do the inner corners. I just find that using my highlight is a little bit easier than finding the perfect eyeshadow. So whatever highlight I'm using for that day, I just go right down into that tear duct 
and I just keep bouncing in there. I don't, you know, go around and um, spread it around too much. I just go right into that inner corner. All right, this is my favorite lip pencil of the year. <laughs> this is from Essence. It's the Soft Contour Lip Pencil. This color is called Sucker for Gray or something like that, but it's not gray. It's more along the lines of a highly muted mauve, and I love it for contouring my lips. So I'm going to just line my lips. I make a little bit of extra pout down here and a little bit extra up there on my Cupid's bow, but the rest of my lips I line normally. I don't go outside. All right, Blushing Pout from Maybelline is the color I'm using today. Love this pink. Goes so good with this lip liner. And it is a matte color. And it looks really bright right now. But once it gets mixed with the lip liner, it's going to do a good job. It looks a little bit more muted once it gets with the lip liner. Then from uh, Milani Ludicrous Lips. And this one is just kind of a champagne-y. Uh, iridescent color. I love this for making your lips look juicy. Mm, so pretty, so plump and juicy. I love that. I'm going to go ahead with this setting mist from Super Goop, Super Goop that has an SPF of 50 in it. It's supposed to keep you really matte and supposed to really be good for the actual SPF. So I'm just going to spray that. This has a beautiful beautiful spray on it and I can spray a ton of this on there which is what I do to get as much sunscreen I already put sunscreen on but this is just an added bonus of sunscreen love this stuff I got it at TJ Maxx I'm so glad that I did I'm curl these lashes I work on one eye at a time again here and then I'm going to take my boosters eyeliner from physicians formula going to go all the way in and take that liner and go all the way out except for uh, about a quarter inch out there. I'm not going to pull this all the way down because I already have downturned eyes. I'm going to stop. I could fill that in if I want to, but I don't want my eye look to get too dark. And then I'm going to go in immediately with my essence. This is the Waterproof Lash Princess. I love this, you guys. Really good mascara. And you want to know what takes me the longest time in my in my routine? It's this because I take a ton of time with my eyelashes. I'm going to continue to do this and I will be right back with you with the finished look. There it is, my friends, the finished look. I absolutely love this foundation. Isn't it beautiful? Love that powder from Milani. Such a good uh, concealer. Love, love, love this palette. Just such a beautiful palette. And obviously love the mascara that I'm using and the lippy. So I hope that you have a really great day. Thank you for spending a part of it with me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy seeing me do my makeup today. I love you guys all so very much. Take care of yourselves and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>